This is Derek Tebbers and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. Hello and and we're at the shop. We, we just had lunch over at the cafe right over there and then and then we drove over here to look at this grimy harvester because you know sometimes you just have to shop around. <laughs> um, and we we also came over we were going to check our lo our loan and then I remembered well then I remembered that I got mad at the bank um, the 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 in-game bank the the bank of uh, the bank of well I don't know what they are the bank of money bank de money the bank de money they, they were just being horrendous so what I did is I uh, I, I moved all my money to the uh, the new it just opened um, not too long ago the the bank of Hagenstadt if I hit my F1 if I hit the end key I open up my bank of Hagenstadt, and you see I, tr I transferred everything over to the credit union Hagenstadt, um, including my loan balance and everything. I can even edit my loan here. I could pay it off. I, I honestly don't know why I have a loan when I have almost 39 million, but you know, whatever. Now the nice thing is the bank of Hagenstadt, credit union of Hagenstadt, they are better integrated into the into the world going on. Now the old bank de Monet, I mean, all, all I could do at the Bank de Monet was work in loans. I mean, that that that's all I could do. You know, I, I could I could borrow and, and repay. That's it. But the Bank of Hagenstadt, they're so much better because they've actually negotiated so that I can go to field management and now I can buy my fields remotely. No more driving over to the field to buy it. I can just buy it right here. So if I want, I don't know. Let's buy a field 13. I just move down here. Field 13 is $88,000. I'm going to go ahead and just buy that field. Now you notice it switches now. It's now this this color, mm, kind of weird color, yellow. <laughs> it says right there, yellow, you own. <laughs> uh, I could sell it. So this is really great because things come up for auction. You can now buy it, wait for it to come off auction, and sell it, and you can do land flipping awesome is that absolutely awesome mod i do i really like this mod i haven't i i've just started really playing around with it um and i don't really see anything wrong with it yet um the other really neat thing it's great out here because i'm in a single player game you can transfer money to other players in your multiplayer game so if you're running a multiplayer game Put the Bank of Hagenstadt in the game. Everybody has to have Bank of Hagenstadt in their game, of course, because it's multiplayer. But you can transfer money to other players or, you know, back and forth. And, and no more that just the owner runs the whole show. Everybody can sort of have a, a little piece of, of the pie and be able to buy and sell. So... Um, really awesome, multiplayer compatible, and, and all of that. So um, definitely take your money out of uh, the Bank de Monet and move it to the Bank of Hagenstadt or Credit Union Hagenstadt, whatever you want to call it. Um, definitely worthwhile. So link is down below in the description. Awesome mod. Uh, we have a couple of other things. Uh, first, I have to harvest, and I have those two cats that, um, as those of you that have watched my Let's Play know, drink fuel like it's going out of style. So, I have to go get, um, not that. Though, let's talk about the, well, yeah, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's go completely deviate. Uh, I have a straw blower. Uh, de paille, paille, something like that. Uh, $10 a day. Um, and it, it's supposed to just blow straw in. So, it's a bit of feeding technology, $9,900. We're going to buy this. Uh, it's actually why I brought the, uh, the New Holland out. We'll, we'll be able to hook up to this thing. Um, from what I have read about it, I haven't actually used it now. Um, you put some hay in here and it, um, well, it blows the straw. So hopefully it'll be useful f for filling up the straw at the cows. So we've got that. The other thing that I was going to talk about was we need to, uh, we need to harvest. There. So I've got the cats. And they're great, except for they drink fuel. Y'all been yelling at me to do this mod. But it just didn't fit into the, the scripting until now. The class Lexion 770 Terra Track. 
So let's let's go over a few things. 551 horsepower. Yes, that is correct. Now I've got I've got figures directly from Kloss themselves for some of this. Um, 12,850 liters. Close. Class says 12,500 liters. Meh. You know, we're talking 350 liters. It's not a heck of a lot, and there's you know room for fudging here and there. Now. One thing I do, I did notice as soon as I checked whether this is loaded in the game correctly or not, is pricing seems low. 370 plus 97 for the head. I'm hoping this is a um, a good size head. It is a good size head. It's a 12 meter head. Um, so what I did is I went on to um, uh, the combine forum. <laughs> yeah, the combine forum, and they said that. Um, they were seen in the UK, um, they did the conversion, so obviously conversion figures can change, but they were seen 530,000 for the 770 Terra track with a 40 foot head, and that is a 12 meter head. So we're a little bit light here, but not terribly light. I'd, I'd, we'll just say it has some hours on it. How about that? Uh, $580 a day of maintenance though. <clears throat> something to, to be aware of. So when we go up to these classes, we're talking $90 a day of maintenance. Or classes, cats, whatever. Um, $90 a day of maintenance. Now, if we go over to our in-game harvesters, and we go to the highest har highest level harvester here, um, we got 510. So we're more in line with what's in-game versus the cats, which are a little bit light in their daily maintenance. So just something to be aware of harvesters. All right, so let's get our track, our head. Um, there's also an eight row con speed head. Now, this one was a six meter head, so it should be an eight row as well. In theory, these two should be interchangeable. We'll, we'll find out here in a moment. Now, I'm going to go and look in uh, MISC. Make sure I'm not going to miss a trailer if a trailer was included. I didn't actually check. There it is. Huh. Trailer, a TAM trailer, ten dollars a day for transporting our cutter head. Sixteen thousand to buy it. Sweet. All right. So here is our big class. Look at that big guy. Now let me let me move this straw thing out of the way really quick. Start up. Um, I've also finally put the ES limiter on on the game because I was getting really tired of fighting with tractors. Go. Oh, a little bit heavy on this. I brought this guy because I was like, ah, oh, it's not going to be that heavy. Eh, heavy enough, I would really think about putting a uh, a weight on the front. All right. I just want to check it out. Yeah. I mean that. It all looks good. It all looks good. Cool. Okay. Let's look at the class here. Big old tracks. Yeah. Nice looking. German tags, which we sort of expected, didn't we? <laughs> um, the cutter head is solid all the way across. Now, some people do say that the reason that some of these cutter heads are are you can walk through them is so that you can um, let the hired workers work and they'll go through the trees. Um, while possibly a valid argument, I don't like that. I'd rather not be able to walk through. Um, and then here's this. Now, this is the, basically the same size as a cat, and it just feels so small, especially when you compare it to the the John Deere head. But you know, you gotta make do. All right, let's get into our new big harvester. Oh, look at that! The stairs moved. So get out, get in. Oh, look at that! That's awesome. I don't know why it would do that exactly, but um, looks like we have down at the bottom we have a measure of how many hectares we've harvested. That's nice. Let's get inside. Complex piece of machinery we got going on in here. Enable IC. Okay. Nothing. Aha. Let's see. Open additional cams. Fold pipe. Deactivate chopper. 
Okay, unfold pipe. But the pipe was folded. Now it's not. So your your ling lingo's backwards. Dope. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's cool. That's cool and all. Um, all right. Uh, activate chopper. Deactivate chopper. It looks like it's inversed to what we would expect, but we'll find out. Open additional cam. No cam available. Okay. Let's start up our tractor. Tractor. Harvester. Okay, cool. All right, let's open that up. Switch to working mode. N. Rear end lo rolls down. That opens up. Yep. Very nice. Much faster than the cat. I'll say that much. Additional cam. Cam one. Uh, reverse. Cam two is pipe cam. Hmm, where is that? I wonder where that is. <laughs> no cam. Okay, all right. I don't know where that one is. Oh, that's my hitch. Excellent. So I can have that hanging out like right there. So I can. Uh, not run into anything when I'm backing up. Very nice, very cool. Um, did I leave that out? I did leave that out. So you can completely control everything from inside the cab. That's cool. All right, let's Ooh, hook that up. Nice, nice. Now, are there any extra cams? Aha, left and right. Cool. Nice. Okay. So I want to de I want to detach that a moment because I noticed something. All right. So backing up, we're backing up at a stately six or seven miles per hour. I can deal with that. All right. Let's check forward speed. The thing I need is a monster that goes a hundred miles an hour. Well, I don't want to hit the building. Twenty. I don't know. It's possible. All right, so we've got our, our new uh, new big toy here. And I have a bunch of fields that need some harvesting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna reset this guy and I'm gonna pull my cats out and um, put it next to the cats so that we can see a comparison. And then, uh, then we're gonna send it over to work. I've got plenty of straw and corn for it to work on. Um, and then we have this guy that we need to go check out. And I've got one other mod that we're going to cover towards the end. So uh, let me get this over to the farm and I'll be right back. All right, before we harvest, I decided to come out to the cows with our, our straw blower. I've got a bale of straw here. I'm not really sure. Oops, that's cab. I'm not really sure what, how to, to do this. Um, so we're going to figure it out. All right, so we got our straw. Let's put that in here. I got plenty of bales hiding around the corner, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna ram it. Can you just kind of go in there? Maybe? Maybe? That doesn't look right. <laughs> Something tells me that ain't right, but we'll find out. Um... Let's lift it up. Whoa! Yeah, I'm gonna need a barrel weight on the front of this sucker. Um, open door. Okay, closed door, closed door, closed door! Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Ooh! Stunt tractors! Um, okay, you know what? Drop that for a second. <laughs> I have a barrel weight sitting around the corner here. Let's go get it. I'm now really glad I left this barrel weight. I don't remember why this barrel weight got stuck over here, but it's a good thing we got it. Um, so you're going to need a tractor with some pretty heavy credentials to, to handle that thing. Um, yeah, well, you know, you learn, you learn. Of course, a real farmer wouldn't be doing something like that. Well, actually, you might. <laughs> Not realizing exactly what you're dealing with. Okay, so... 
It now says I have straw in my little in my little thingamajiggy. So we're gonna you like that the thingamajiggy? Little icon says that I have straw. So do we go? Which way is the best way to do this? Like this maybe? That's what we do. X to open the door. Um, lower it then, maybe. Hmm. B. No. Hmm. Left straw lower. Do I have to get out and hook anything up? No, everything seems fine there. Hey, you you like I'm walking around the machine like it's Agrisim. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Alright, so let's lift it back up. Oh, that's quite a weight there on the tractor. X opens and closes that. Alright, so we're gonna... I'm just gonna kind of back in here. Oh wait, maybe there's a Q. I'm, I'm maybe I'm waiting for Q to show up. Aha! Uh, Q. There it goes! There it goes! Yeah! Look at that! Oh, that's awesome! Sweet! So we just have to get to the right spot, and then it just blows it in there. That is awesome! Cool! Con conceivably, I could load it, not just with bales, but with whatever is straw-y. Straw-y? Yeah. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That's the straw blower. Um, great little tool for getting... Uh, straw, I'll turn that stuff off. Great little tool for getting straw into your cows. So, uh, yeah, that's neat. I like that. That's cool. A little bit of feeding tech for you. All right, now I'm going to go and get uh, deal with that, the class, the class and cat. So I'll be right back when I'm over at the farm. All right, so we're here for a short face-off between the cat and the, well, the Lexion and the Lexion, really. Um, so the head is obviously much, much bigger for the 770. The tank isn't much bigger. Uh, so, while you'll be able to do the field faster, provided that you have all the support you need, if you don't have the support, you might be facing an issue where you're you're running back and forth a lot. Um, but that being said, it is a it is a nice looking machine. Now, the one thing we need to watch, and if you if you remember from my let's play, that cat there drinks fuel at about two liters a second under maximum acceleration. So as we head over to the uh, the grain over there, we're just going to watch our fuel. I do notice that this one has more fuel, which is good. It is a bit more fuel efficient. It's not like super efficient, but now someone told me don't drive on the gr grain. Let's drive on the grain really quick. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Don't drive on the grain because you'll destroy it. Good, I like that. I actually do like that feature. So that's nice. Um, there is a mod out there for threshing damage. Um, for threshing in the rain. It's never rained on any of my farms, so uh, don't know really what to say about that one. Alright, so let's hire our worker. He goes. Laying down a nice line. Now, that it started immediately. It's, I guess that's okay. It just kind of stinks because now I gotta start all the way back there with my. Um, do my hickey. Do my hickey. Yeah, that thing. Uh, all right. So let's hop out and check out the. Oh, look at that! Nice animation there. The the wheat being threshed in by the cutter head. Very nice. Very good there, machine. Um. Do I have anybody who is empty? Good gravy. Great googly moogly, folks. I have transport things everywhere and I don't have I don't know where there is an empty one to transport stuff. The corn head will probably be the same. Um, I'll I'll cut here in a moment and uh, and we'll go and do the actually you know what? Why don't we just do this? It's not like I'm hurting for money. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Harvesters, let's buy ourselves another one. Nice. 
Now let's reset it back here. Nice. There it is. Okay. I need a tractor and a trailer to get some grain out of this thing. You'll work. Maybe. <laughs> We're about to find out if it works. Because, you know, now you remember me ta ooh, talking about how the cat, it looked thick coming out. Of, now, it is it was relatively accurate. I just want to make sure that, one, that it's going to work so we don't have a John Deere incident, because that was annoying. Go, oh, why do you have stuff in there? Okay. Well, good thing that I have so much money, right? Uh, whoop, back and tippers. That one will do. And reset it. And go get it. Jeez. Like I said, I got stuff everywhere, and it all has something in it for some reason or another. Who knows why? I don't know the reason for half of the things I'm doing. This. Go and away we go. Let's go find. There you are. Well, let's wait on him. So while we were waiting on him, let's go get his brethren here hooked up to the corn head. Like I said, that corn head, same size. I, I checked. It's the same size as the ones off the cats. So I'm not gaining anything, I'm not losing anything. Um, I do wish someone would come out with a bigger corn head, because these eight row heads, they're great here, but in central Kansas, <laughs> if I plant a full run of, of corn, I need a bigger corn head to cut that stuff. All right, let's go see if it'll pipe out. the arm. Speed him up and page up. No page up is that. Uh, helps if I choose the right vehicle. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. And it should output, and it looks like it's outputting um, 150 liters a second is what the, uh, the literature said. So that looks really nice. Very nice. Yeah, excellent animation, all of that stuff. Cool, all right, let's don't. <laughs> don't use tab, dare, don't use tab. All right, we're gonna run the uh, other class over to the uh, corn, which is somewhere in my farm. I'm, oh, there's some corn there. Um, yeah. And then uh, I'll be back when I have that sorted. Okay, one thing I noticed while I'm driving this out here, um, as I was running up to this machine, the sound wasn't as abrupt as the cats. Now the cats, if you if you recall, the cats are extremely abrupt in how the sound suddenly turns on full volume. These ones gently fade in, so that's good. All right, so we got our corn head all sorted. I realize I haven't tried all the num number keys. We're about to do that sitting here. Let me line this guy up first. Okay, stop. One, two, three, four, five. Five is rear, six is rear. One of them is not rear. Okay, five is boom, six is rear. Seven, nine, eight is... Okay, good. Um, five, six, seven, yep. Horn, beacons, yeah, we got beacons, too. <laughs> Alright, so let's hire the worker. Oh, I probably should have done that. <laughs> hey, well. Oh, look at that, going down the corn. Looks good. Similar animation to what you see on the uh, cat. But yeah, looks really nice. Nice looking mod right there. There we go. That's that's a class Lexion uh, 770 Terra Track. Chopper width currently 12 meters. Was it? 8 meter, 
meters, six meters, twelve meters. Chopper width. Did the other one have that too? Dude, you mess up. Eight meters, six meters. Ooh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> Gotta run through the corn and get to the other one. Running through the corn, children of the corn. <laughs> running, running. I will catch you. Look at that, perfect. All right. Now, if I enable the chopper with N, please turn the cutter off first. Okay. Dismiss. Stop. All right. Switch to drive mode and disable chopper, the same key. So it makes it more important to use the in cab uh, chopper. There. So chopper's enabled. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that cute? Alright. Get out. We're gonna chop. I enabled the chopper. Uh, maybe. I do like, no, down below we've got the the readings on how much we've used this machine, apparently. <laughs> Not sure the difference between the two. I mean, there's a different icon, but that's about all I see. So, we not do anything. So, disable the chop. Ah! So now if I do X, is it? Ah, okay. Alright. Let's just change just the width of that spray. That's cool. Cool. Alright. So, one more mod to talk about. Um, and it's not a tractor. <laughs> I know I said no more placeable mods, but I got another placeable mod. I got a Morton 100 by 200. It's a uh, hundred thousand dollars, and it's holy goodness, it's big. All right, let's find a spot for this guy. And I've got such a disaster in this place. Um, I'll put it there because the trees just go through it. Did we buy a field up here? We bought this field, didn't we? Well, if we didn't, we, we, we will in a second. Alright, so it looks like grass is going to go th grow through it. I'm actually going to place it a little bit like this to see. Alright, let's go back, go back. What are you doing? You're just, you're just chilling. That's cool. You just chill. Uh, truck. Truck, 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 truck. Um, I really don't care which truck. Ugh, let's just go get the Ford. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to get the Ford because, well, it's fast truck, and it seems to be the the least... The Kraz truck is a good truck, but it does have some glitchy problems with it. Um, I've actually crashed my game a couple times with that Kraz truck. So, getting our Ford, which is slowly starting to get dirty, by the way. I'll use it a heck of a lot, so it can't get too dirty. Come on, back up. Let's go. And for all of you asking me to do the uh, GMC top kick, yeah, it'll be done. It's just it's added to a list, so Oops, turn. I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, I try to cycle stuff in fast as possible, but it doesn't always happen. All right, let's go check out our new building. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, here's our new building. Let's drive around it really quick and check it out. It's like a nice building. Yeah. Nice big, big structure. Did I just fishtail my truck? I think I did. All right, now it should have some special features. He says as he runs into the building. Uh, 
What's going on? Hey, I need in. Oh, there's grass growing through there. I can look through here. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Operate door. In. Cool. Um, that's not cool, but okay. And you can get rid of that just by, you know, plowing the grass or something, but... It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big hall here. It looks like it would fit a, f looks like it would fit a class. Let's open this guy up. Yeah, that's looking good. This one probably opens too, I'm betting. Or not. Ah, there it is. Just have to find the right spot. Oh, you can operate the doors independently. Oh, that's kind of cool. And that does make a pretty darn big place. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice big hall. You can get a lot of goodies in there. And we got one more door up here. With a nice little porch light on it. Wacky in the face there. Nice spot to park a bunch of uh, bunch of tractors. Cool. So uh, yeah, that's the um, the Morton 100 by 200. Um, it is it is very big. <laughs> So, uh, that's pretty cool, too. I mean, the rolling door, the doors work. They don't work automatically, which is, I guess, fine. So, that that's a nice building. Don't place it on grass, because the grass grows through it. That annoys me, but you can solve that problem by putting it on dirt. That works, too. The, uh, the classes are really nice. That straw blower, that's pretty cool, too. And then we've got the, uh, the Credit Union Hagenstadt which is a nice way you can now play uh, Property Flipper. And uh, they're better than the uh, Banque de Monet. Uh, yeah. So uh, until next time, this has been Dare Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight.